Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and today we're going to talk about setting up color management for Photoshop Elements 7.0. As you can see, I already have my application open, and I'm going to create an, a new document. So I'm going to go to File, New, Blank File, and we're going to call this Demo. And that gives me a transparent background. So I'm going to go over here and click on a square from my tools menu to my left. And I'm going to create something on the page. And the reason I need to create something on the page is so that I can access all the settings for color management. So now I want to go to edit and scroll down until I see color settings. And that's going to open up a dialog box where you can see um, up here in, in the border it says color settings. It's going to give you four choices from Photoshop Elements 7.0. And the one we want to choose is always optimized for printing. So I'm going to select the third radio button down. It says always optimized for printing. Then I'm going to click OK. Next I'm going to go to File. and I want to go to print but I'm not really going to print I want to access my print settings All right. in this dialog box what's important here first of all is to select your printer and today uh, we're going to use the GX7000 as an example uh, these settings would work with any um, any of your sublimation printers including the Epson's and for all um, PC operating systems including 32 and 64 bit but we're going to use the GX7000 for this demonstration once I've chose my printer I can go over to color handling and I'll be able to choose um, where I want color management to take place so I'm going to click my fly out and we're going to choose Photoshop ele Elements Manages Color. So Photoshop Elements Manages Color. I'm going to select that. Okay. And my printer profile, because I'm using the GX7000, is going to be the Ditrans High Quality um, for the GX7000. So I'm going to scroll down. Um, once I click the fly out, I'm going to open, this box will open up. I'll be able to go to the right here left click and hold down my my scroll bar and till I see the GX7000 die trans high quality so I'm going to left click on that and I'm going to be able to see it in the box so that's really important for managing your color in Photoshop so you want to make sure you have the correct profile for your printer so the rendering intent is perceptual so you're going to click on perceptual from the rendering intent field and that uh, that sets up the color management section but in Photoshop 7 uh, to flip the image if you're using a Rico you'll want to mirror your image from the application so it's real important uh, that you mirror the image before you do your print job the Epson's do have the ability to mirror from the driver and you can save it as a unique setting from the driver but for this particular printer and the Ricos that we sell here for, um, for your sublimation needs you'll want to flip the image from within the application so as you can see here where it says output I'm going to check the box flip flip image and that's going to uh, mirror the image uh, for your for your substrates at this point we're ready to print so uh, we're not going to print but to um, if you if you were if you did have an image on here you'd be ready to go ahead and print but I'm going to cancel out and that is the demonstration for setting up color management in Photoshop 7.0 again this is Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support if you have any questions or anything any concerns about setting up color management for this application feel free to give us a call here at Condi Systems 1-800-826-6332 thank you for your time